That concludes our record of the incident that occurred in the aforementioned country we obtained through Layla's Septima. Thanks for the report, Sistina. You and Layla must have put in long hours gathering all that information. <sighs> now that these primal dragons have appeared, we can't just sit by and watch. I have a feeling this is that child's handiwork. It would be so much easier if Sumeragi would just open up and share their info and tech with other countries. Holding exclusive technology regarding Septimus grants them a significant advantage over other countries. Sumeragi would never give that up. So we'd just be wasting time trying to cooperate, and we don't have that kind of time to spare. Our investigations of the Primal Dragons revealed that Layla's Jin can control them while they are weakened or unconscious. Which means we have our trump card. Now we just need to get to that child. If we hope to get anything done, we need to get a move on. Layla, can you sense it? The Child of Hope's location? <sighs> How shall we proceed? Sumeragi's barriers are unparalleled. It will be near impossible to enter the country through them. We have our new APF warheads, don't we? They should have no trouble with any barriers. I should have known you already had a plan. I will have the missiles deployed post-haste. Thanks, Sistina. I'll inform the research team myself. My pleasure. All glory to Prince Zed's magnificent plan! Uh, hey, everyone! We've got big trouble here! I'm detecting five missile launches! And they're heading toward our borders! Missiles? Isn't the entire country protected by a huge barrier? Uh, well... It looks like the missiles have already slipped right past it! Are you friggin' kidding me?! The border guard is trying to intercept them! This strange force field appears to be diverting all attacks! That force field might be the same thing that allowed them to pass the barrier. Sharon, are you able to calculate the coordinates of the missiles in real time? Hell yeah! That shouldn't be a problem for my Septima. What are you planning to do? I once encountered an adept who could turn their body into electronic data, allowing them to warp over distances. I've never tried it myself, but with those coordinates, my Azure Striker should be capable of the same thing. You want to just try that out now? For the first time? On top of some missiles? Those missiles are traveling at an extremely high speed. Even if you were able to warp as you say, any slight miscalculation in the coordinates would be a hell of a worker's comp claim. You don't have to worry about that. I have total confidence in Shirin. After that, it will all be up to me. Uh, no pressure or anything, right? I'll still do it, though. I'll go with you, then. You can do that, right? Just one more person shouldn't be a problem. I make no promises that this'll work. If you went by yourself and ended up going primal, no one would be there to stop you. Besides, you'll be fine, right, GV? Just leave the rest up to me. Got it. Thank you, Keating. The rest of you, assist Sheeran however you can. We don't have much time. I've never done this before, but I'll have to use my Azure Striker to turn our bodies into electricity and warp to them. Sheeran, I'm counting on you for those coordinates. Uh, hell yeah! Anything. Makes me want to give you a hard time about it. 
Please don't. Honestly, outside of an emergency like this, I would rather not do that ever again. It was really nerve-wracking. Gotta be kidding! What are they doing on a missile? Listen up, Smith, are you promise? This is as good as it is! No way! They're inside the missile too? I don't even... What is that? That seems to be the device that's generating the force field I mentioned earlier. I analyzed it with my Septima. And as far as I can tell, that missile... contains no nuclear or incendiary payload. It's seemingly designed to expand the force field from that device to damage its target. It's meaning that if we destroy it, the missile should be completely neutralized. Looks like it. Let's get to it. The device is no longer operational. Now, hurry to the next missile. Let's go up there. The next missile is closing in. Who we'll kept the boosters on? Hurry up. Let's go up there. Uh, the boosters are closing one after another. You really need to hurry up. Keep going. You came all the way here to welcome us. My, this is such an honor. Who's there? My Septima is rather impressive, isn't it? Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Zed, leader of Atems. Atems? Is that the name of your organization? Correct. I believe you are part of Sumeragi's Bureau of Dragon Saviors, was it? Thanks to one of our members, Septima. Our Jin was able to track your activities. That Jin Septima? Is that the same type as me? Don't tell me. That's the power that could revive the primal dragons? Oh my. Please accept my apologies for that. That was an experiment of ours, as part of our research into the primal dragons. An experiment? Research? You were just making their rampages worse! I can... understand why you'd be upset. But now that we're done with introductions... <clears throat> Let's talk about that power of yours. I'd like to measure it in real time, in the midst of battle. Just what is the Dragon Ruler capable of? I know all about you, Gunfall. 
Your Sumeragi is renowned all powerful as your striker. Just so you know, my Golden Trillium is no slouch either. Golden Trillium? Mine's a way to the Fire Septima. Mm, not quite. My Golden Trillium is closer to that which eliminates all a Septima of the Sun. <laughs> well Can't done. Power of Mighty Fusion? There's Take no away. escape. Here I come! A brilliant light from which one must avert their eyes. The golden dawn of a trillion suns. Will you be able to look straight on? The light of a trillion suns? Pig Take talker, point. aren't you? You're you don't even hold up to one sun. Let alone a trillion. You, know you can talk it out if you want, but a septima is a septima. My and my one. is better, so lock it down. Your fate is oh, yours. Excellent. I like your assertiveness. However, you'll find that it's not so easy to seal up the path to the future you chose. Give it a You're stronger than I thought. Wonderful. I knew you would be strong. I expected nothing less from the former Primal Dragon and his companion. What are you trying to accomplish by launching these missiles? Ah, uh, well, about that. First, let me clear up your misunderstanding. This isn't a missile. It's just a means of transport. Though it is made from a missile, so I guess you're half right. Means of transport? This country is protected by a powerful barrier, so this was the only way we could break through. I'll admit it makes for a rather violent entrance, but we needed to enter the country by any means necessary. My associates should have already disembarked from their transports at this point. Now, I could explain exactly why we're here, but I wouldn't want you to get in our way. Either way, you'll understand soon enough. I'll be seeing you. Hold it! Later. He's gone. He said he's with attempts. What in the world are they up to? I know it's not a real missile, but we should stop that field generator just in case. the marine distribution center. Neptune, are they trying to disrupt the supply chain? Wait a minute. These are all places where the binding brands are stored. Are you talking about the glaives? Those things that kept me sealed in the Institute? No, the glaives that can suppress septimas are just the mass-produced version of the brands. As for the origin of the glaives, aka the binding brands, there are four binding brands in total, and attempts have been cited in the exact places where the brands are stored. That must be what they're after. Binding brands, huh? If they go and gank those brands, what's gonna happen? I don't know. The binding brands were originally created to bolster the nation's spiritual defenses by controlling the dragon veins, paths of energy that flow throughout the land. But the dragon veins have been stable for a long time, so removing the brand shouldn't immediately cause a problem. We're talking about a bunch of villains who launched missiles into the country. They gotta be up to no good. You're right. No matter what they're planning, we can't let them steal the brands right from under us. 
Dragon Saviors, move out! Good luck, everyone! RGV! I know you support Kirin in battle, but what exactly do you do? My main job is to ensure that she can use her arc chain. After Kirin locks onto something, I warp her to the target with my Azure Striker. Wowza! You two must be perfectly in sync! I was here thinking you'd be her footstool to help her reach high places, or let her ride on your back while you fly! Wouldn't that be considered animal cruelty? I'm not an animal. Turn into a motorcycle, or maybe even a spaceship. I really got my hopes up. What exactly do you think dogs do, Shiran? I told you I'm not a dog! 